Hello guys, my name is Michael and today we are going to talk about uh, more things which we can use with our CSS and uh, we will stick to the button today and uh, let's see uh, what changes we can do using CSS on our button. So in the last uh, tutorial we were creating a button with a level which uh, we named in cl click me and then uh, we create a class like a circular one to can have a round button and uh, now I drop the whole uh, file I delete it so when I run the program now the program looks like this there is no color nothing so we will make some changes I will start with the window and uh, for the window we will say back round color I don't know, let's say brown save it and run it and we have our brown window our button is here and works fine now let's make some changes let's start with the button mm, our button let's say it has a green color Green. When I run it, the button is green and like it should. And uh, now, one important thing: uh, if you want to change the color when you hover your mouse here, you can do it like this. You go back to your CSS file and you say button over back on color let's say yellow now when I run the program oh I made a mistake like I told in the last tutorial just be careful wait oh yes hover sorry about that and now uh, now we are here here's our window here's a button and now when I will use the pointer mouse when I put it on the button the color should be changing the yellow and it is and there is one more thing which you can do if you wanna see if the button click takes place or I know how can I call it if uh, you wanna change the color when you click the button you can do it also and uh, you will do it like this uh, by using the active property and this one let you uh, put a color inside of that and make some things in that in those uh, moments when you click on that button let's say I you know red now when we run the program I will hover over it, you see, it's green, it's yellow, and now when I click on it, it should be blue. Oh, no, I think red, I said yes. And the program close. And I think that's it. Thank you guys. Until next tutorial, please subscribe. See you next time.